In this presentation, you will learn about privatization under LPG Reforms India. Privatization refers to a process that reduces the involvement of the government or public sector in the economic activities of a nation. It involves disinvestment of public sector partially or fully by selling its equity to private parties. The two elements of privatization are as follows. Dereservation of public sectors. The dereservation of public sectors has enabled the entry of private sectors in those industries which were reserved only for public sectors. This has led to improved customer service and efficiency of the firms. At present, three industries are reserved for public sector. They are railways, atomic energy and specified minerals. Disinvestment of public sector. Disinvestment is a process of selling government equity in public sector undertakings to private parties. The disinvestment is undertaken to achieve good customer service, overcome political interference, overcome corruption in PSUs, and improve efficiency of PSUs. Let us look at the impact of privatization. The positive impact is as follows. Improved infrastructure. Private sector focuses on providing better work environment. For this, huge investment is made in improving infrastructure facilities provided to the employees of the organization. Better infrastructure in turn increases the overall efficiency of the organization. Increase in efficiency. Most government industries and services are inefficient and are running in losses. Due to privatization, their efficiency is likely to improve as private sector focuses more on increasing productivity, efficiency and lowering or minimizing wastage. Use of latest technology. Private domestic investors and foreign investors make use of latest technology and know-how for increasing the output and their profits. Better technology helps in reducing the cost of production. Less political interference. Public sector enterprises are owned and managed by the government. With the growth of private enterprises, government participation in industry is reducing by the day. This has also reduced the political interference in the day-to-day -day administration of companies to a great extent. Increase in foreign investment. Many private companies seek funds through the foreign direct investment route. It increases foreign investment in the country. A country like India, which has a shortage of foreign exchange, benefits immensely due to such investments. An increase in foreign investment leads to an improvement in the foreign exchange reserves of the country. Let us now look at the negative impact. Problem of dereservation. The government has dereserved the public sector. This has allowed the entry of private sector in those areas 
which were earlier reserved for public sector. The entry of private sector has resulted in overexpansion of capacities, which in turn has resulted in recession, especially from 1996 to 2003. Lack of social responsibility. Business is a socio-economic activity. However, in their eagerness to earn maximum profits, private businessmen invariably ignore their social responsibilities towards the government, employees, shareholders, society, etc. This creates discontent among various stakeholders. High Prices Private businessmen are in a position to spend huge amounts on research and development. If they succeed in developing a unique product, they are likely to recover the cost from the consumers by charging high prices for the product which they produced. Exploitation of employees It has been observed that private businessmen are not hesitant to violate various laws, especially pertaining to workers. They may not even pay the minimum wage as prescribed by law. Furthermore, the working conditions are not conducive. This adversely affects not only the performance, but also the health of the employees. I hope you now have a clear understanding of privatization and its impact post the new economic reforms of 1991. Thank you for watching the presentation.